Southfield has always been a great place to promote cancer awareness, and this year has been no different, as the American Cancer Society recently held a Making Strides breakfast at the pavilion. A sea of pink and positive affirmations filled the room as the American Cancer Society held their annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer breakfast. The event was a kickoff to create teams for this year's annual walk to raise money to fight cancer. This year's event was hosted by Fox 2's Dina Centifanti, but also featured Southfield Cable 15's own Dana Harvey and her mother, Vernice Anthony, as keynote speakers. I'm here today because uh, I know that the American Cancer Society makes a difference uh, in uh, progress against breast cancer. And as I said, I am a survivor, so I know how important that type of work is. So I want to do whatever I can to be helpful. Uh, well, personally, I have been active in uh, the American Cancer Society in years past. I pulled together um, a team a couple years ago and the year, year prior to that uh, to walk in the Making Strides for Breast Cancer event on Belle Isle. And following that, I just continued to stay in touch. And I was asked to then chair the Southfield Relay, Relay for Life. And so I had done, done that for the past two years. Very re rewarding and exciting experience. Dana was compelled to embrace the fight against cancer when her mother was stricken with it several years ago. It is absolutely important to me. Um, it's a matter that's close to my heart. Uh, my mother uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer eight years ago. Um, and it is through her journey um, that my sister, my family, uh, her friends, we all took to support her in her recovery. And I just needed to do something to reflect her strength. And, and so I just be began to get involved. Um, and so everything I do, everything I can do, is to honor her and what she's done um, in her life. So I celebrate her as often as I can. And, and my Participation with the American Cancer Society is a huge part of that. Dana's commitment to fighting cancer has strengthened the already close bond between her and her mom. They say everything, no matter what happens, even if it's bad, there's a good result. And I will say that I'm extremely proud of Dana. Uh, the leadership role she's taken in the community uh, to focus on preventing uh, breast cancer and improving lives as a result of breast cancer. She has really you know, adopted uh, my cause, but also transferred that to helping the entire community through the American Cancer Society. It's wonderful. It makes me feel really good. Dana and her mother shared their stories of survivorship and caregiving while encouraging involvement with the American Cancer Society. Their speeches were one of the main highlights of the program. Well, the day that I was diagnosed with breast cancer is a day that truly changed my life. I was shocked. I uh, could not believe it. Uh, I've never, had never missed a mammogram, so we know mammograms don't prevent breast cancer, but I'm thinking, well, I've been having my mammograms, no breast cancer in the family, and also being a health professional myself, I felt I knew everything there was to know about breast cancer. But when I got that word that I had stage two breast cancer, uh, I just couldn't believe it. I said, you know, you sure you have the right mammogram? I just had one last year. There was nothing there that has to be impossible, uh, but it was not. And I think it really brings home the message that we're all at risk uh, for breast cancer. You know, it, it's, it's difficult to, to take the first step because you think, you know, what can I do? You know, what can one person do? But you would really be amazed what you can do. Um, if you're not ready to start a team, just pick up the phone and call and ask, what can I do? In the mail, I actually received an envelope of all the list of volunteer opportunities. And that's a great place to start, is just giving of your time. And once you get involved, I guarantee, once you get involved, you will want to do more. So you'll start off with giving your time, you'll join a team, next thing you know, you'll start a team, and you'll be raising funds, um, you'll be proud of your efforts and uh, realize that it's, it's absolutely worth it. While the stories and affirmations resonated with the audience, the importance of taking preventive measures to fight against cancer and becoming involved with the American Cancer Society was a consistent theme of the breakfast. I think that the most important thing is to realize that this is something that collectively needs to be done um, and, it, and it can't just take one person that we need many people, that we need everybody to be a part of it. 
And what is really surprising is cancer touches so many lives. You would be surprised. When you mention it to someone, they always have a story. And I would just take that energy and put it into doing something about it. The reward is, is beyond measure. The, the importance of getting that annual mammogram cannot be overstated. Uh, cancer, once it starts growing, grows very, very fast. So you must have it uh, annually. And if the doctor says, come back in six months, because you're not sure, you got to go back in six months. Uh, you can often feel a lump through breast self-exam, and that is something that women should do. But that does not replace the need for a mammogram uh, annually, and more often if you are at risk or if your doctor uh, tells you to come back. Being a cancer survivor, you know, I know the importance of every single day. I often get up and say, this is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice, you know, and be glad in it. Every birthday is a celebration. You know, I don't hide my age. I'm 67, so I don't hide my age. And I do appreciate every day. I appreciate my grandchildren, my health, the ability to be, uh, to be active, uh, because I know that, you know, I could have, could not be here. So, uh, you know, every single day is, is the most important day of your life. To learn more about the American Cancer Society and its various events and programs, visit cancer.org.